I'm Rhea Pavia, and I am the director of the short film Second Team. I'm a stand-in actor from a fictitious hit TV show who distorts the script to publicly undress her co-star. The concept of Second Team was born from a story a script supervisor told me on one of the shows that I work on. I, my main gig or is or was actually past tense, uh, acting coach for various television shows. So I spent an inordinate amount, that was a hard word to say, inordinate amount of time on sets and uh, in video villages watching uh, all of the stuff go down, including but not limited to the unsung heroes, the forgotten ones, second team or the stand-ins for the stars. And uh, the script supervisor on this show that I work on was telling me about a film that she worked on wherein the second teamers had been in a relationship together and had broken up right before they started filming, but they still had to be in close proximity to one another and how awkward that was to have to, you know, be making out, and, you know, just be breathing down each other's necks and they just didn't like each other. And it was captivating for everyone in Village to watch that go down, like, what's going to happen next? Oh my gosh, what's going to happen next? So what I did was I took that kernel of a story and I spun it uh, just to kind of heighten it a bit. And I decided to make it two females just for ha-has. And um, I pitched the idea to a writer whose work I'm, you know, obsessed with, Annie Weissband, uh, and she got it. She got what I was leaning into and she wrote it in five days. And actually what she called a rough draft a year ago is exactly what we ended up shooting. I had no notes. And for a perfectionist and a really opinionated Italian New Yorker, that's a big deal. It, it, it was, I was like, oh, that's what I want to make. That's what I want to make. There are uh, plans in the works for second team. Uh, there, there will be next legs, new legs, next steps, all of it. Uh, we are in talks with uh, several production companies about making it either into a series or a feature. Not sure yet. So stay tuned, but it's all, it's going to go down for sure. I mean, everyone wants to see more. I want to see more. What happens with these ladies? Well, also, what happened prior? What, where's the prequel? Like what happened on New Year's Eve that made them break up and all of it? It's, I, I'm very grateful uh, that it's been so well received, the second team's been so well received and that people have been reaching out to us in terms of, you know, potentially developing uh, the project. So again, we'll see, not sure yet, but can't <laughs> wait for the ride. It's a screening at Holly Shorts which is an Oscar qualifying festival. And then next up is New York City Web Fest and uh, Big Apple Fest, then Key West, and then Maui. Um, I'm hoping to go to Maui because that one is live, masked. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to be at a live festival with this. So to your question, yes, it's, it's, it's kind of popping around at various festivals. I will say no, and here's why. I knew I had a very finite amount of time to shoot this. Okay. And I had poured so much into it, time, emotion, money, that I had it orchestrated down to every last shot. And so I didn't leave much room for error. Now, of course, there's always discovery when shooting, like, wow, that, that went better than expected, or boy, that took a turn. Um, but in terms of any big surprises, no, but I will tell you this. I only had my video village actors or the people that are watching what's going down and reacting for one day, but it was a two day shoot. So my challenge was getting all those reaction shots and close ups and all that coverage in one day. So I had to kind of guess what was gonna be happening. Well, you said, were there any surprises? So not really, but I didn't know what those scenes would look like because we hadn't shot them yet. Certain scenes, certain parts. So um, I did a ton of coverage on my village and I'm really grateful that I did because we cut back to them so much. And there's so many great reactions, uh, particularly Chester Lockhart who plays script supervisor. And there's that catch phrase throughout uh, 
the, sh the short. That's not in the script. And actually, we end on him. And in the script, it didn't end on him. That's one thing we did change. I cut back to him one last time. Here's another fun fact. Uh, Phil Lewis, who plays the director in Second Team, and I have known each other for over 30 years. We went to a performing arts high school together, Interlochen Arts Academy, and he's now a big director. He directs all the time. He's not, he's not acting, really, but I asked him for a favor. I said, can you do a cameo for me? Can you come be in my short film? And he complied, and I'm so grateful because, I mean, he knocks it out of the park. Come on. So my social media, as a social media hoe, uh, self-proclaimed is ria.pavia that's instagram um r-i-a dot p-a-v-i-a and also the films instagram is second team film for twitter it's ria underscore pavia r-i-a underscore p-a-v-i-a and second team film twitter and same with facebook say so facebook is just ria pavia and second team film. I loved working with Holly Shorts. Actually, it's not even past tense, it's present tense because it's still going down. Um, I've been really impressed by the communication. Uh, I feel some festivals, I've had a lot of questions and I understand we're all navigating new territory because we're in the middle of the ick. That's what I call it, the ick. Um, and, but Holly Shorts has been so communicative that we always know what's going down. Okay, we, we have this happy hour coming tonight. Uh, there's a lot of great activities. Uh, let's do it. Let's do an, a trivia night. There's a drive-in coming up, which I'm so pumped about on Monday night that I already have my tickets for. And my, my film's not playing, but guess what? I'm going. I'm so, I'm so excited about it. Popcorn. You can even pre-order popcorn. Come on. I'm so pumped. And what I really loved is we did a, um, a, a COVID safe red carpet, masked and all. I mean, they had us come down and take our pictures and, you know, do little videos. And that was really fun because it felt as close to being there without actually being there. And they've really, you know, piped that in, which has been amazing. I also did a really fun video with one of my lead actresses, Francia Risa, um, where it's very TikTok-y, where we uh, pretend that there's a knock at the door and we're in our pajamas, which is basically what I'm in right now. And, oh, we well, no, can't, not yet. And it cuts to us glammed out uh, as, as like a, the second part of it. And they had a bunch of us in a row doing that. And just fun. Come on. How fun is that? Thank you so much for supporting Second Team and for watching us. And I hope that you stay tuned for the next iteration. I don't know if it's going to be a series. I don't know if it's going to be a feature, but you'll see more of it and more of me for sure. <laughs>